Hello, my name is Jonathan Firth. I work for the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow. And one of my main areas of interest is the psychology of learning, and that includes creativity. Um, I think it's fair to say that a lot of educators recognise that creativity is important. And it's sometimes been described as one of the key 21st century skills that young people need to learn about. But uh, I think there's also some misconceptions. And I want to talk about three misconceptions in particular. Uh, the first one is that creativity is only about making things that have a huge impact in society. In psychology, we would define creativity as being about making something or having an idea that's new and useful. It's not hard to come up with something new just by throwing things together randomly. And we often make things that are useful. But something that's both new and useful would be defined as creative. Now, that could be something like a great musical composition, um, completely original film or a scientific theory that's never been thought of before. But more often for our young people, it's going to be about an everyday thing. Coming up with a history essay that, that is needed for their homework is creating something that's new to them and it's useful because it's solving a problem. Even things like figuring out how they're going to fit in their study into a limited period of time is a creative task for a young person. And if, they, if a young child in primary school writes a story, it may seem to an adult that it's fairly derivative, not very original, but if it's new to them, um, then we could describe it as creative. The second um, misconception is the idea that creativity is just about the individual. We may think of people, famous people who have done very creative things and think they're a creative genius. But often creativity is more about group processes. It's more about thinking together, uh, sharing ideas and building on what's already been done. So the example of writing a story, well, you can't write a story without having some knowledge of the world and that knowledge comes from other people. And it's the same when um, people come up with musical compositions or uh, come up with scientific theories. They're using their existing knowledge from their memory and they're building on things that have done, been done before. So creativity is not just about the individual genius. It's often more about interaction, interaction and working with other people. Uh, thirdly, a misconception is that creativity only applies to certain subjects. We may think of certain subjects at school as being the creative subjects, and it's often described this way in the media. So, for example, things like music and art are described as creative subjects. Um, I would say that creativity really applies to any subject, and young people are not necessarily being especially creative in the subjects that are, you know, subjects like music and art that are often described as being creative. We need to be creative in science. We need to be creative to come up with new ideas for experiments. We need to be creative in social science as we apply knowledge to new social problems. So creativity really applies to any walk of life, uh, not just to those traditional creative subjects. Though, of course, in those subjects, it's important to be creative and there's a lot of creativity that happens in those subjects too. Um, so those are three misconceptions that I think it's worth considering as we help young people to become more creative and to be creative in lots of walks of life. Thank you.